Alright friends, so uh, I know I just showed a video earlier on how to uh, to do the clone supports, but I wanted to show you uh, something else I just just learned, uh, or realized, I guess would be a better way to frame it. Uh, hey, if you didn't see, like, just because we're here, uh, <laughs> this is how I often generate these, because, you know, at first it generated that, which we don't like, but then you click off of it and you can put it where you want it. So this is super useful, and then we did in the last video the whole you click, you hold, you hit control Z, and you get a clone of it. You know, super useful. We all like that, that's nice. But it actually goes one step further. Um, so let's come over here and let's just make a regular uh, support. Yeah, regular support. So take it where you want it, yada yada yada, whatever, no big deal. We're going to come up to here. We're going to bring this over to this support span. You can absolutely do this. It's not a problem at all. You don't really want to go all the way to the end. Um, and we don't really want to use that many feet because the feet uh, dimensions are not editable. Let's make this a little bigger, line it up. This part here, tedious as it is, is actually very important for what we're going to do afterwards because this has to be lined up perfectly. Uh, if it's not, it this isn't going to work right. <coughs> now what you're seeing me do right here is that the upper ball cannot go below uh, the lower ball so you have to get it set right let's make sure I've got the right one you can make sure that you have the right tip by coming over here and seeing if it changes if it changes that's the one you want to clone so this is what's really cool you notice that we're on this span so now I'm gonna use the bug to uh, clone right off this span and so now I have I mean look at that look at how awesome that was and how quick it was because I can come over here to this side now set one right here set another one uh, now normally that's how I would do it in th actually in this spot that's actually not too bad because it's immediately setting it um, but let's say for whatever reason I needed to pop one of these guys off you could do that or in this case just the cloning thing again where we uh, we move and we drop and we move and we drop and we move and we drop and off we go um, yeah, so actually this is going to be a, a perfect example right over here. So you've got this long span. And, you know, there's a whole bunch. Some of this we can get from over here, but there is, I remember from memory, like a whole bunch that's right in here. So what I would actually do if I had to resupport this is create a really long span like that which I'm sure you've seen before. I might even, um, yeah, I especially would right now because this isn't set to my usual. This small, small is what I use to do uh, the uh, floating supports like that because there's if they're too fat, they'll fall. Gravity is mean that way. So let's get this back to, to regular. And actually what I might do is bump that up to like 1.7 and then I'll bump <coughs> this up. I might not need to do this. This is just me being a little conservative. I always start conservative when I've got a new idea. Alright, so we've got this guy all set up. Now I'm going to come over here and just pull a support off. Well, that's interesting. It doesn't matter. We're going to bring that over. Pull this up just to make movement easier. Actually, this is something that is still definitely the case. It likes to move more when you invert it. I don't really know why. And then even then, sometimes it doesn't. You just change your camera angle and then boom, it'll move like you want. Now I've merged that support into it. That though is, yeah, that's okay. I'm not going to actually go that far. Um, we will drop this down. Whee! And drop these guys over. Make sure that, yeah, so this is going to be your lower bound, so I am too far away. We're going to actually move up. Actually, hold up. No, we'll do this. So this is where you have to just totally change how you think about doing supports. So what I'm doing right here is creating a lattice support structure that I'm then going to move this to. And ordinarily, I would use those feet down there because that's like all the support tips. Woohoo! But now I don't want those because those aren't editable and the name of the game is editable tips because if you can't edit it it's freaking useless so we bring this down we merge it that makes it so it won't be an island and then now we have this guy and we know that that's the support top because I won't let me go down so I definitely know that this is so now 
If I want to get all of those right there, check this out. Boom. 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 Ah. That's the only downside, you know, occasionally it glitches. But, uh, this is just stupid. Uh, this took me so much longer the first time. Um, I can't even tell you. It's just ridiculous and this is still not quite muscle memory for me so I'm not as fast as I ordinarily would be and I make errors like that but um, and the fact that you can do all of that like it gets even crazier so watch this like so let's say I click off that and I need to move around I can bring it to right there same thing bring my bottom ball up drag this up this is gonna have to go a little higher now this is an oblique angle, so, well here, let me show you a trick real quick. This might be something you don't know you can do. So we're going to create another support structure right here. Boom, boom. We'll send this guy right over. We'll delete, we'll delete. Got to make sure we angle this right. Da -ba -da. Bring that down, bring that up. So this is what's important with uh, how these work so that they self-support this ball down here because I don't think I've shown this to people before there is a little hole right here see that little hole right there that is the thing that tells you whether or not there'll be an island so you take your uh, it's gotta be your top one Chichi box if you watch this please for the love of God let me connect bottom feet to supports themselves because right now you can only connect the tip to another support but you notice that that little circle there is gone now that all you need to do for that to print is come over here to your upper di diameter, kick that to 45, and that will print and hold no problem at all. So, now let's see which one of these, uh, do, can we, we probably think we need to get rid of one. Yep, we only need the one. So, what we have actually done here is create a new thing that we can put supports on. So we'll take our tip, put it where we want it, take that, that right there, bring this up, delete, delete, drop it where it'll cover an island and we're not going to use any more feet because we know we don't like that because they can't be edited. And now, and this is just me, you don't have to do this next part, this is just me being anal, I like it to be tighter and yeah, that's much better. Okay, <clears throat> so we click, we drag, and we clone, and we clone, and we clone, and we clone. And now, I mean, that's just so clean, and that's so much more. And if you're worried, like, it's no big deal, because what you can do is just come over here, click, hit, boom, come up. I mean, you don't even really have to be precise. Physics-wise, like, technically, that's not the ideal location. That's going to give you a uh, more true right angle. It's still not a true right angle, but that's better than it was before. And if you're worried, again come over here and just up that to 45. I used to think you needed 65 or higher, but you don't. Uh, and that's just all sorts of stable. And then again, now we just have a new one right here. We just created a new su a support strut. So what you can now do is like, we don't actually have anything over here, but if we did, you could just bring this right over, click it in, drag it up. And again, like I used to think I would use all of these feet because that was all that I had but the feet aren't editable and you can't change the contact depth and so they constantly clip through and that can be frustrating because it makes the model not as clean but now that I know I can clone feet like I can clone whatever I want to clone like it's just stupid like oh my god I can't wait to do more complex models because life just got so much easier please G2Bucks make this a feature and not a bug